Welcome parents. Today we're going to talk about the literacy development in early childhood. So first off, where does it start? It starts with your child being able to listen precisely, which means that they're able to use the amplification that you have provided them in a way that lets them understand exactly what you're saying. So some main skills re related to the acquisition of literacy in your child is their general underlying language abilities, which means they're able to use their background knowledge, vocab that you've taught them, and language structures such as syntax and how we create our sentences to the best of their ability. They're also able to use spoken phonological knowledge for decoding printed word, which means that they're able to understand the sounds that are in a specific word and are able to use the understanding of that in order to decode the words that are written down on a sheet of paper for them. So basically listening comprehension, their ability to understand you and everything, everything that's being said to them is key to reading and writing comprehension. So being able to listen precisely and decode properly allows them to then have a better reading comprehension later on in life. So one of the main skills related to literacy acquisition is phonics. Now, what is important about phonics is the children being able to relate each phoneme to its grapheme. So the graphemes are the letters that are on the page. So the child needs to be able to relate the letter and the symbol that they see, and then be able to think about what sound that letter makes, which is its phoneme. So one way to practice this is having your child sound out pseudo words, which are fake words that they can read that aren't real words, but if the child is saying each of the sounds correctly, then you know that they're connecting the graphing the letter with the sound that the letter makes. Um, so something that is found in research is that printed words strengthen a child's spoken phonological and morphological skills. So seeing the printed word really helps improve their literacy skills. Um, while learning this with our child, we want to make sure that we remember that it may take a good five or six years of consistent auditory input before the child really is able to connect the sounds with the letters. This means that what you have to keep in mind your child's um, hearing age. So if they were implanted at six months, that means that they're going to be six months behind. So if they're not up to their peers yet and they haven't caught up at six years of age and aren't at that level, it's only because they still haven't gotten the consistent input that their peers have had for that amount of time. It's also important to keep in mind the age of enrollment that you have your child in a early intervention program because these programs have shown that these children that are implemented into these programs before they're 11 months old have a stronger vocabulary and verbal reasoning skills at age five. So it's very important to give them that access as soon as possible. It is also shown that because of this, they're able to have scores similar to their hearing peers, which means that they're able to catch up and get rid of that gap. So it's important to keep in mind that the earlier you enroll your child in an early intervention program that focuses on the auditory oral presentation and understanding and use is important for your child later on. And that along with putting your child into this early intervention program, you also need to remember that amplification and when that amplification is done is also important because it has shown that Within, getting amplification within the first years of life is, has resulted in better functional hearing and improved language outcomes. So it's very important to just keep in mind the age that you are enrolling your child in these programs in order to have an, a better understanding of the outcome later on. Another aspect that's really important when the child is learning literacy is how much the family is involved. If the family is not very involved, then it's shown that the child may have language delays before the age of five. So getting all of the family really engaged in the child's literacy learning is very important. Um, one way that you can do this is to talk, read, or sing to your child every day, because that'll help increase their language, reading, and social skills. Um, also, when reading books with your child, it's good to ask open-ended questions. That way the child can be active during the reading and not just passively listening. Um, also letting the child 
put hold, um, turn the pages in the book. That way they feel like they're in control of their experience is very important um, when reading with your child. And just reading a story every day is really important and will help the child learn to love words and want to read more, which will really help their learning of literacy. So for the family that's involved, there's a five scale um, participation that like is very important to remember. So like you want to be at a five, which is the ideal participation. So this is when the family is really engaged in all of the sessions and the meetings that um, you may attend for the child. Um, you want to like make sure that you're pursuing your own information. Like if you have any questions, make sure you're asking. Like if you aren't sure about something, like you want to make sure that like you're speaking up for your child and like know exactly what the child needs. Um, it's also important to advocate for your child, like I said, and for your extended family members to be fluent also and like make sure that everyone really understands the communication mode of your child. That way your child has people to communicate with. So some strategies that we have to promote reading for your child and is to help your child hear speech all day with consistent amplification. So that means that you're speaking to your child when they have their hearing aid, their cochlear implant, whatever it is, on and are using it. That way they can understand and hear what you are saying to them. It's also important that you help your child develop text awareness. And what I mean by that is when you're reading a book, you're pointing to the pictures as you read it. So at a simple kindergarten age book, it said the one, there's a picture of an apple and the words are an apple. And you just point to the picture as you say an apple so that they can recognize this. You can also talk about sounds and words. So changing a letter in a word to create a word that rhymes. That way your child can understand that there are words that are similar to one another but they also get the connection of the phonemes and how the phonemes can change and make a, and create a new word. You can also list words that start with the same sound as your child's name. That way you're working on, again, the phonemic awareness of your child and making sure that they can connect those phonemes to one another, as well as later on with the text, being able to connect the graphemes with the phonemes. You can also talk about synonyms and antonyms. That way they have a larger vocabulary available to them. And then again, just help your child hear speech all day with consistent amplification. It doesn't matter if you're just talking about nonsense. As long as they're listening to you, they're able to gain that information and gain that ability to look, use later on in life. And then you can also set the stage with a lot of different um, uh, ideas. I'm just going to pick some, some out and then we also have it available for you later on. So. Trying to develop a library habit, having your child understand that li going to the library and reading books is a good thing. Encouraging a wide variety of reading activities, so maybe not always just reading a book, maybe there's something else that you can do, like maybe reading a song together, like you printed out the words, something else, just making sure that you encourage that activity of reading something and getting that literacy involved. And show enthusiasm for your child's reading. If they're showing that they want to read, it's already a great step forward and you need to commend that so that they see that it's a good thing to want to do this and to learn more. So some of the improvements in children today are that the early childhood classes are successfully helping these children and develop their auditory based and phonological skills. Um, it is also shown that um, children who are the deaf and hard of hearing have similar scores to children who have typical hearing on tasks that involve their letter recognition, matching pictures to symbols, and common written word recognition. So just a quote that we want to leave you with is, hearing loss in and of itself does not preclude the development of vocabulary, but it does impose constraints that educators much, must help students overcome. So it's not the hearing impairment themselves that stops them, it's just that it's more, it makes it more of a difficulty, but it does not mean that they cannot reach their full potential and get to where they need to be by the time that they are graduates. <laughs>